Hey everybody, Plushbook here, back with another Jurassic Park review, technically. It is the Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Hammond Collection, Geo Sternbergia. Now, if you guys don't know, is that there was another Geo Sternbergia. The smaller one. I have the smaller one. I'm going to compare the two together for you guys. So we're going to put the small one over here to the side like that. Let's get a photo of it like that. Let's get one without the Geo. Um, Alright, here's the barcode for, for anyone who needs it. Hopefully that's a good photo. So I took thumbnail shots. Let's take one of me holding it. Hold on. Alright, I'm back. I had to take a few more photos of the box. Um, those of my eyes aren't too bad. Here's the back of the box. It's a very simple back of the box. This is, uh, so I bought this off a of big bad toy store. Uh, I want to say it's in stock as of now, but I cannot promise you anything. And no, I have no idea when this is coming out to Target stores or any stores. I have literally no idea when these are coming out. But without further ado, let's get this right open, shall we? Uh, let me find uh, something I can use to cut with. Um, something I've always noticed is that they use the cheapest kind of tape to keep the figures in there. I remember last time I fucking cut my finger. There's still a scar from it. Y'all, my skin scar is so easy. Like, see, I just cut one piece of tape and I get so, I have a bunch of, like, built up, like, scarred skin inside my thumbnails because of all the paper cuts I've gotten from doing that. Wow, this is a lot smaller than I thought it was. But, so you gotta get I said shoot. Ah, my arm hurt. Oh, the arms are, the eyes are perfect. That's, I'm not worried about the eyes, I'm worried about the beak. I'm not the first person to review this. I've seen a bunch of other people review it. I don't think Clutch Jurassic has even reviewed this yet. I'm just checking the beak. Perfect, the beak is perfect. Because on my Amber Collection Pteranodon, the beak was super loose and I couldn't. You know, do much. This Geo, and no, it does not come with a stand, unfortunately, which would have been really nice. But you can't have everything. So, the eyes are really nicely done. Super simple, but they work. And now, now just because something's simple does not mean it's not going to work. Um, the eye is painted orange with a black painted pupil. The beak and the very large crust is painted, well, casted in a yellowish color, almost like cheese. You got a little bit of brown paint on the tip of the beak. Now, speaking of the, of the tip of the beak, if I'm not wrong, there should be like a little curve going down like that. Like a little, almost like a small tooth type. I, I don't know, but I'm not going to harp too much about it. I'm just glad I have this figure. I've been wanting this all year. But the one I really want is the Coriantosaurus. And you guys need to know that I absolutely love the Coriantosaurus. So, this is what the, his eye looks like that on the other side. Mine doesn't have the goof eyes. But just so you guys know, yours may have goof eyes. All you gotta do is just return it with the receipt and they'll give it to you. As long as you don't tear up the box, you should be fine. Now, you got some of this sand color paint underneath like that on the beak and it goes all the way down the neck it goes all the way down and then you got the th that color on the legs see i don't mind a good fade this is a an, an example of a really really good fade on the jurassic toys so the neck has two points of articulation it, it can move at the back of the head which it can go all the way up like that and it can go down like that to where he's like that and then the, the base of the neck, and, 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 and the head can spin around like that. It can look right and left. It can go all the way around if you wanted it to. 
Oh, sorry, sorry. And then the neck can spin around like that. Um, the neck cannot really go f that far forward, but the the head kind of replaces that. But the but the neck can go really far up, like almost. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. That that can go super far up. So if you wanted it to be kind of weird. Okay, I know I know what this is. This is the sh this this is the uh, Safari Limited 1999 Pteranodon. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't like that figure at all. But I have it, even though it is a Geo Sternberg, It's got that different crust. Now, basically, the only difference between Pteranodon and Geo Sternberg is the crust, and it's a bit bigger. But speaking of, you know, all that, it's an. Th this is probably my new favorite. <laughs> Hammond collection figure. I mean, I'm I'm probably gonna say that every single time I get a new Hammond collection figure, because every single Hammond collection figure just blows my mind. I am absolutely in love with the Hammond collection, and I it, it was a great choice to ditch the Amber collection, which isn't bad. There's just too many Raptors. So the the wings are made of a super flexible material. And they even have, yes, you heard me right, they have bendy wire, just like the Amber Clutch and Turn It On. And just be careful with these hands, because they look like they can come right off. And what I really like about them is that they actually painted every single claw on this freaking figure. You have all three of the hand claws, well technically this whole thing's a hand. Well, they didn't have claws on the end of their freaking wings. If they did, they couldn't fly. Um, and th the wings can go all the way up like that. And you got a, a little bit of blue, but I'm really not going to let that bug me. I'm, I, I am seriously in, in love with this figure. And if you're wondering, you just got to put the wings down like that. And then fold them up. Now, something I do want to warn you guys about my Amber Collection trained on is that I had this, I had this like this for way too long, and the wing actually broke. But the Amber Collection turned on is a much lighter and softer type of plastic. Yes, the wings can fold like that, you heard me right. And I know what was nice about the Amber Tranodon, which I will get for you guys here in a minute, is that the whole, there's a section in the body that could actually move. Um, let's, I'm going to unfold the wings for now. I like them out in all their glory. Let's talk a little more about the wings. Uh, the wings are mainly cast in a yellow color. And it's got like this almost like burnt toast kind of look. Like a, I don't know the term. It's got that, you know, that, that effect on it. And it's got some on the other side of the wing. And then you got a, a little bit of that brown on the the sides where the ribs are, kind of. You got it on um, the top, too, which is really nice. And on the top, on the back, you got some blue on the arms. And then the blue slowly goes down to the tail. Now, guys, do not yell at them for not painting the tail. And Technically, they didn't, but it's so small. You don't expect them to paint a pterosaur's tail. Oh, wait, I do it in Morphodon and Ramphorhynchus. Even a Ramphor... Oh, well, they did do it with some Ramphorhynchuses. Yeah, they definitely did. They got, like, three of them. Um, let's talk about the, the, the legs now. Um, the legs have multiple points of articulation. Um, they can go forward, up like that. They can go... All the way out. Now, whenever you're handling these figures, be extremely careful when doing so. Because the joints, special on him and collection ones, can and poss possibly will snap on you like that. So that they can go out and in. The, the wing, the knees can fold like this. And, and they can kind of go out like that. I don't expect them to. Um... The, le the feet on mine are super loose, and they painted every single claw on the feet, which is an absolute shocker. I am just beyond words with this. This is, you know, the first one was cool. It was hard to find, but this one is just superior to it. The tail doesn't move, and I don't expect the tail on this tiny... No. Um... 
My mom tried to call me. I can't turn the camera off. And the same thing can go like that. So the tail isn't painted. I'm not going to, don't harp on it. I really don't want to see you guys complain. But, but plush boy, they didn't paint the tail as usual. The tail is so small. It, I wouldn't even call it a tail. So what you got to do is you're going to, you're just going to simply fold the wings. Because the wings on this are a lot nicer of a material. So they probably won't break right away. I'm just, oh, I'm so sorry. No, mom. I, she's probably telling me what kind of ice cream I want. So, uh, it doesn't necessarily look the absolute greatest, but it's nice. Alright, let's unfold the wings. I like keeping the wings out so they don't break. No, mom. Hold on a second. Alright, my mom's not going to stop bugging me. I'm not going to let her burn this review. Alright. So our first comparison is going to be with the Legacy Collection GS Denver. I'm going to just going to put the arm out with the head out like this so you guys can see it. This is much nicer. It's noticeably long, bigger too. Just All right, let's take a look at the, the head differences. Um, now, the, the colors on these are so much more different. And also on this one, the plastic is so much harder. It's so frail. You could break it super easily. Like, that came all the way from Peru. I'm very grateful to own that. Hold on, this... Stupid foot. I'm trying not to break it. I'm also trying to fix it. I get OCD. I like them going the way they were at originally. Come on. It's hard to see where all the... There, that's good enough. Because they were like perfectly straight at one point. Alright, let's put the... Geo back up like that. And we get the Hammond, I mean the Amber Collection Pteranodon. Oops, there it goes. There goes Owen. See that? I hate the Amber Collection because they never stand up that well. Here, I'll grab another Pteranodon for you guys. A normal sized one. Now, the, uh, the other one's about to. It's about the same size as. The, the smaller geo now this is uh let me get the standoff this is what i was saying if you don't exercise y'all's joints on your dinosaurs like don't keep them the same way forever they will and can break like this like that but it still kind of looks all right and also i have to put fun tack in the beak like that because it's super loose but this figure is still so good. I really, really like this figure. So this is definitely much, much bigger than you guys think. To the Tranodon. Because the Amber Tranodon has is an 18 foot uh, 18 inch wingspan. Um let me compare it next to another one. Another Tranodon. I'll I'll get a small one for you guys. I'll get I'll get a smaller one. I'll get the battle damage one because I like the battle damage one the best. Um, this one is also much bigger because the Trandon is smaller than the, the Geostar and Bergia. So the, it it this is just 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 telling you guys this is a lot smaller than you guys think it is. Um, this is still, it's still a really nice figure. It's definitely a, a, it's definitely better than this. Depending on if they get that one fucking at Target for you guys. It all depends. I mean, like, I agree. Stores suck. I've wrote, 
I've wrote emails, I've wrote tweets on Twitter about the problem, and no one, no one listens to me. I mean, I hate it when people just like your post and they don't say anything. Alright, there's a little bit of fake blood on this one, but I, I tried. So, this is a proper scale. Um, this is the, uh, I'm gonna move this one. Oh yeah, this is super nice. Like, th this is so good, you guys. I if you guys can get this, get this. Like, I am just beyond words by just the level of detail they put into this figure. Now I'm trying to fix the feet once again. Hey, I got them! Yay! They look like they did earlier. Guys, it's it's it sucks to have OCD, but then it doesn't. Also, the captives are making a Geostar and Bergia this year. I it this seems to be the year of Geostar and Bergia. <laughs> it seems like they're finally giving it the love they need. They're so underrated nowadays. Like a lot of people don't think it's a it's its own thing when it clearly if it, they didn't if they didn't think it was different. They why would they give it a different? You know, entirely different name. Well, basically, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And also, one more thing. Like, the wings, they're actually, like, stuck on the side. So, you can't pull them off or nothing. Unlike all these, where they where they kind of go around like that. But they, they, I don't, they wouldn't necessarily have to. I don't know. That's what it looks like from the front. It looks so cool. Alright guys, I'm gonna get off here. I gotta charge this phone. I gotta make some more storage up. Peace.